In this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply by powers of 10. And I have written several number sentences that are all taking the number 5 and multiplying them by an increasing amount of powers of 10. So I started out here multiplying 5 by 10 to the first power, which is just 10. Then I did 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power, 10 to the fourth power, 10 to the fifth power. Remember that these exponents, 10, like for example, 10 to the fifth power, really means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. 10 tens multiplied by itself five times. So if we look at the products, we can see a pattern that is developing here. Every one of the products has a five in it, and which isn't very surprising. But every one of the products also has zeros, and those zeros represent the amount of tens that I multiplied by. So for example, right here, I multiplied by two tens, 10 to the second power. So I have two zeros in my product. Here I multiplied by three tens, three zeros, four tens, four zeros, and five tens, one, two, three, four, five zeros. So let me put the five in the place value chart to show you what is really actually happening here and why we're seeing this pattern develop. So I have a five in the ones place. And when I multiplied that five by 10, I got 50. So the only way for me to get 50, change that five into a 50, is to move it into the tens place. So I'm gonna take that five and put it in the tens place. Once it's in the tens place, I can fill in the ones place also with a zero because there is nothing in the ones place. I'm gonna look at that same process for my next problem, which was five times 100. So if I start out with the five in the ones place, and I'm trying to get to 500 because that was my product there. The only way I can do that is to take my five and move it over two place values into the hundreds place and then fill in two zeros here. Then now I have 500. And if I continue this pattern with my next problem, I'll have five in the ones place. I'm trying to get to 5,000 because that was my product. I've got to move it over one two, three place values to the left. I can then fill in my zeros and I have 5,000. Hopefully you're seeing the pattern of what's happening. Each time I'm moving my digit over the exact same number of tens that I'm multiplying by. So that in the last problem, I just multiplied by three tens or 1,000. So that's why I moved my digit over three places to the left. Same thing in my previous problem, I multiplied by two tens, so I moved it two places to the left. Let's see if this same procedure works when I multiply five by a very large number, such as, oh, let's do one billion. So this will be five times one billion. Again, I'll start out with my five in the ones place. And I already know the answer to this, five billions is 5 billion. So I'm trying to get my 5 all the way from the ones place, all the way from here, all the way over here into the 1 billions place. Let's see how many place values that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I had to move it 9 place values to the left and then fill everything in and I have 5 billion. If I count how many zeros I had in my problem, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that was the number of tens that I multiplied by. So every time that I multiply a digit or a number by a power of 10, I'm moving that digit or that number one place value to the left. So let's now take a look at another example. So let's look at another example of how we can multiply by powers of 10. Let's say I have 57 times 1,000. That's the same thing as doing 57 times 10 times 10 times 10. And that's also the same thing as doing 57 times 10 to the third power. So let me write my 57 in the place value chart here. And because I'm multiplying this by three tens, I'm going to move it one, two, three place values to the left, fill in zeros, and I have 
57,000. So knowing that we can move our digits when we multiply by powers of 10 is also useful when we're multiplying by decimals. So let's say we're doing 2 and 56 hundredths times 100. That's the same thing as doing 2 and 56 hundredths, hundredths times 10 times 10 and 2 and 56 hundredths times 10 to the second power. So let me write that up here, 2 and 56 hundredths. And I want to multiply that by 2 tens, so that means move it two places to the left. So let's do that. 1, 2 places to the left. So I end up with 256. You may have noticed that it appears that when I do that, that my decimal point is moving one, two digits to the right. And the only reason that that appears that way is because when I move my digits to the left, the decimal point is staying in place. So it appears that the decimal point, point is moving further and further to the right each time. The decimal points do not move. It is simply a divider between our whole numbers and our fractions or our decimal place values. Let's look at another example. Let's say I'm multiplying 56 and 8 tenths times 10,000. That's the same thing as doing 56 and 8 tenths times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. Or the same thing as doing 56 and 8 tenths times 10 to the fourth power. You can figure out powers of 10 fairly quickly by just simply counting how many zeros there are in your uh, factor there because how the zeros each represent one multiple of 10. Let me write this in the place value chart, 56 and 8 tenths. And I need to move these digits four places to the left. So I'm going to take my digits and I'm going to move them one, two, three, four places to the left. Fill any empty place values with zero, and I have an answer of 568,000.